for some godforsaken reason, YouTube decided to stick uh, a really silly video that I made when I was in high school back into the, its algorithm, and it's been getting a lot of traction recently. And that was the whole, haha, you can use Sea Shanty 2 to, to pray flick. The, the basic theory is actually there, and it actually works. So I thought I would make this short little guide uh, a crash course to tick manipulation using Sea Shanty 2 as a metronome. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, sea Shanty 2, whoa, that was created by a, a, a kid diddler. <laughs> well, my friends, uh, worry not, because it's actually a little-known fact that much like her other great works, Harry Potter and Minecraft, uh, Sea Shanty 2 is actually uh, composed by Hatsune Miku, so nothing to worry about. First thing I wanted to get out of the way is prayer flicking, since that was uh, what was covered in the original, uh, albeit as a joke. So the basic understanding of it is that Sea Shanty 2 is 100 BPM, beats per minute, uh, that means that there's a beat every game tick, so if we're, we're gonna turn the song on, and we're gonna turn our prayer, quick prayer on once to activate it, and then every beat, every bum, 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 we're gonna double click our quick prayers, and I, I can't do this while talking, because, uh, it will throw me off, and I'm really, this is, I'm really bad, so, I'll just show you how that works. So, we turn it on once to activate it, and I'm gonna lose prayer here, because I'm not flicking. And then, I'm bad at it, but this is how it goes. And that's basically how it works, is that because there's a beat every game tick, you can just click in time, There's a, it lines up with the ticks, it's your own little metronome, and for some people that can be more useful than, say, the Runelite metronome. Next up, we're going to be showing how to two-tick woodcut. Um, this is honestly my favorite way of woodcutting, I find it to be quite engaging. Um, the basic theorem of two-ticking is that you're going to use a short bow on rapid with no arrows equipped, and you're going to have auto-retaliate on. Um, and then you're going to get two creatures. We're going to go over to the teak trees. Uh, there are some rabbits nearby. You can do this on Ape Atoll as well. Um, I'll put a, a map location on screen for that. Um, you're going to be using like the, the birds, I think, there, uh, but the basic premise is the same. But uh, when you have two creatures attacking you two ticks apart, and you have a short bow on rapid with no arrows and auto retaliate on, all sorts of witchcraft starts to happen behind the scenes, um, which actually allows this method to work. So I'll show you how that goes. So as I said, the, the thing you're going to need very specifically is some enemies, uh, preferably low-level ones that aren't going to do a whole lot of damage. Um, you can use the things like the curse spells for this, or something like wind strike that isn't actually going to kill the monster. Um, and the next thing is to actually get them set up. Uh, so we want them attacking us every two ticks. Which they are now. Now I have to very carefully screw this up. I'll come back to you as soon as I've got these set up. So right now I've got them on either side of me. They're in the correct rhythm, but I really would like them stacked one on top of the other. So what I can do is wait for this one to attack me, and I'm going to run to this square, uh, which will line them up, and I can run back to this square, which will cross over them. So that one attacks me, I run here. He's lined up now. Great. So now that the rabbits are actually in position, we can put this to use. So, again, we want to activate Sea Shanty 2. We're going to turn on the music, and you're going to click on the tree and on the ground every game tick, uh, which is just to the beat of Sea Shanty 2. So, as we were... And it's that easy. The final application of using Sea Shanty 2 to tick manipulate is here in Piscarilius. Uh, you can actually use this to fish the same way you do uh, cut teats, and the same theory applies. Uh, for this, we're actually going to go into our menu entry swapper, um, and I believe there's a, a setting for it's either NPC or object swaps or something like that, maybe UI. Um, we want to change our left-click option to harpoon. 
Yeah, so it actually is here under uh, object swaps. Since it's still in Runelight this far after their uh, compliance with Jagex's third-party client rules, I'm going to go under the assumption that it is okay. So we're going to turn that on, and now you can see that left-click, our option is Harpoon. In my inventory, I have my Harpoon, uh, because as said, you're going to need to have your shortbow equipped. And as you can see, no arrows, auto retaliate is on. So the same theory applies. Rather than click underneath the tree, obviously you can't click underneath the fishing spot, or at least it's very hard to do so. And the fishing spot has moved, so we're going to simply walk our rats over to the next one. And if you walk, they will stay in time. It can take a bit of finagling to walk around and move between them, but it's, it's really not that bad. So, again, we're going to turn on Sea Shanty 2, and we're simply going to click to the Sea Shanty 2. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, if you make a mistake and you happen to screw up your timing, a very easy thing you can do is if you, for example, this happens. You, oh no, I'm not moving. Just double click to the beat. So one, one, two, one, two, and then you're back. So again, oh, I've clicked on that. Oh no, it's not working anymore. One, two, one, two, one, two. You just have to double click. And the same applies to the fishing spot too. Like if I click over here twice, oh no, one, two, it's not working. Oh, it is working. <laughs> See, just when it uh, you want it to go poorly, it doesn't. If I double, double, one, two. And that's basically it. My inventory is full. Now, when you get really good, this is pro strats. You can see that my inventory is full. Dropping an item with shift click also counts as a click outside of the spot. So if I drop, click. That's how it's done. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.